Engineering. B O O M I N G. What is going Look, on with that? Listen, man. John had a uh, knot in his back. Talib was a very helpful, you know, co worker. Mm-hmm. And she just, you know, she just worked it out. You get, yeah, you get stressed out. It was just, we had to go save Gordon. It was a very stressful episode. Yeah. And if so, someone shows you a kindness like that, you, you have to reciprocate in some way. She needed a mouth know? massage on her lips. Energy is energy. Uh, yeah, the- <laughs> no, but I think I think I think John and Tala. It was an interesting sort of twist, even for the for for me reading it. Yeah, but it was a cool sort of turn, uh, which I you know thought was cool for John's character, also Tala's character. Yeah, absolutely. And last week, uh, we you know we got a little bit of the, the the little hint that something might be coming up between the two characters, and then I didn't think it was going to develop this quickly, but the very next episode. You guys are uh, giving each other's uh, lips a high five. Yeah, yeah. And I actually I forgot because again, it's been a minute since we shot the episodes. I for I, I I forgot how quickly it happened and when it happened. So I was a little I was shocked when I saw it. I said, "Oh right, that is this episode." Yeah. Now, besides like uh, the the magnetism or the energy between the two characters, um, mm-hmm. and I know you can't give anything away, but maybe what was going through your mind at the time. Uh, do you think this is uh, uh, maybe John's gotten to that point where he wants a little something more than just a, a fling once in a while with a, with an alien? You know, John, he's been he's been working hard. You know, he uh, has put a lot of a lot of commitment into his new position. I think he might deserve some 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 happiness and some love that's not just sort of one off, you know. Uh, so we'll see what happens with John and Tyler. You know, it might be an ongoing thing. It also might just be. It might be that, you know, I kind of forget. You have to keep watching. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, you we'll worked on happens. it for years, but you forgot all about it. Yeah, I don't Until even... the episode airs. Then you're well, right. I don't, even, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> well, last week's episode, I mean, okay, when it comes to like all the scientific techno babble and all that stuff, that's usually uh, John and Isaac's job to, to spout yeah. that all out in the episodes to kind of explain to the crew, sometimes to the audience. But man, uh, last week, <laughs> John, uh, uh, his lines, his lines were probably the toughest I've ever heard. I mean, what was it like trying to get uh, that memorized for that episode? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll t- I remember when we shot after we took we did like the first take and I, I worked really hard on it beforehand because I wanted to, you know, go in, nail my lines. I don't want to you never want to be the person holding up him, you know, I tell actors all the time. Come in prepared as much as you can. You know, yeah. things Time happen is money. in your head. Time is money. But uh, before we even shot, I, I remember Seth, he looked at me, he goes, sorry, sorry. <laughs> like, <laughs> he knew ahead of time. He's like, I'm so sorry, man. But uh, it was challenging. You know, it made me think of my theater days and trying to make those sort of science words make sense and deliver it in a way. But, uh, you know, but everybody was super helpful. And, uh, you know, I... I'm I'm blessed to work with actors who give you energy and give you mm-hmm. love, you know. So in between each take, they'd be like, you know, good job, Jay. So it was it was a uh, it was fun, even though it was challenging. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, and, uh, it's a cool side of John, also. I think. Yeah, well, he I mean he was basically giving off a scientific soliloquy. You know, it's like monologues there, uh, where yeah. even yeah. I remember uh, some of the fans of the show were were chiming in online saying you know here he goes again oh my god i can't believe you nailed that one you know people were paying attention at the time they were noticing how much uh, oh wow you had to say and, and oh really yeah and there's been uh multiple comments in live shows and stuff since then so uh you know hats off oh, hats off to you for for getting that i hope i hope they didn't <laughs> i hope they didn't have to do too many takes uh because that's that's a lot to, to <laughs> do man we I think we uh we we did it in an efficient way. But again, it all for me it was all about prep, you know, just yeah. getting the lines down, getting it in your head, and then trying to sort of deliver it in a way that makes sense. Well, I'm sure you got like a lot. I mean, you guys stopped filming a while ago. Now you're now now you're enjoying the show as a fan each week. And of mm-hmm. course you get to talk about it, promote the show, all that good stuff. But I'm sure you got lots of stuff coming up planned. Uh I, I just know that's the way that you are. You know, I'm oh, sure. Yeah, with, with all me. the work. Yeah, talking about you personally. Oh yeah, you know, I try to stay busy, man. I uh, I always say I don't 
I don't like my glass to be uh, all the way empty. So I, uh, I started working on my next couple projects once I saw we were gearing towards the end of season three. So I got a new movie I wrote. I'm going to be directing hopefully before the end of the year for a 2023 release. Uh, and then, you know, hopefully by the time I finish this movie, get in the post, if there's a season four or some more Orville. You know, we're hoping for that announcement. People are starting to go nuts. I mean, people you know, are that's getting what, antsy, including me. I'll just Hey, look, me, you and me both. And uh, I'll just say I'm scheduling this movie shoot uh, with, with that in mind. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, because even you if know. you know if it gets that renewal, which I don't see why why the, it wouldn't. I mean, it kind of has to get renewed at this point. People are loving it so much; uh, it's getting some pretty high ratings. Um, it just it just seems something you would want to prepare for as as a yeah. uh, as a more than just in case. And you know, maybe we'll get an announcement soon. Uh, if yeah. not, we'll be as patient as as we can. First of all, if we do get an announcement, you'll probably know about it before anybody. You, yeah, you are the Brian. Will. No, you're the uh, what's his name? Uh, Wozniak of the NBA, right? <laughs> I don't know if you know him, but he knows about trades before anybody. And if mm. he says it, then a couple hours later, it's like such and such got traded to the you know whatever team. So I'm sure if and when, if the fans want another season, Seth has said he wants to do another season. I would love to come back. You know, I think I'm uh, I love being on the show um, and I think John has some more in his tank. So, you know, if the fans want it, Hulu says, yeah, I think we can do some more cool stuff. But you never know. You know? Well, there's also you never know after a couple more seasons, there could be uh, uh, John Lamar, New Horizons, a whole spinoff series. <laughs> uh, I, I'd watch it. I know a lot of other people that would watch it. Maybe it, you never know. You never you know? know with 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 a wink. You now might listen, already I will, know. I will say, uh, and I don't know this, you know, but the times John has sat in the captain's chair, I remember as an actor, I never sat in a chair mm-hmm. unless I was, and because it was a weird thing, I wanted to keep that something special about that captain's chair, something yeah. special about the the bridge, you know. So uh, the couple times you know John's been in the chair, you know, it was cool to. It's a different view, you know, from up yeah. there. Yeah, well, but, every uh, time a character gets in that chair, there's always a little moment taken. Uh, you know, in, in that scene, there's just a couple beats, extra beats there to watch them sit there and, and realize they're sitting there and they're taking over the ship. And, listen, uh, man, if I came over there and sat in your chair, I'd have a moment. I'm like, wow, this is JP's chair. Wow. <laughs> there's too many lights I'm, in here. Shining really right in your here. face. <laughs> no. uh, but yeah, it's uh, another season would be great. And uh, I mean, of course, I mean, it'd be great for you, be great for the whole team, be great for the audience. I think it'd be great yeah. for the world because the Orville, it, it, it's more than just a show to watch. It's a show to watch and think about. There's lessons sure. in there besides just the the, exp- the explosions and the pew pews and the science yeah. fun stuff. There are things to think about. I will say to that point, um, with this season and being on Hulu, I do feel like we've sort of really found what this new groove is. Yeah. I don't think the show is completely different from season one and season two. I just think it's stepped into what it really can be. Yeah. I think this is why this season took so long because I I know Seth. I know Seth was thinking, let me show everybody really what this show can be. Yeah. Let me show them really how far we can sort of take it. So it would be sort of, it'd be fun to continue down this path that we're on. Uh, Cause I feel like we're just sort of getting started, even though we're in season three and it's a blessing to even do three seasons. You know, mm-hmm. a lot of people don't get to do it. So I'm not taking that for granted, but I do think there's a lot left in that tank. Well, yeah, it's um, well, I've always thought the Orville, you know, well, you know, I love the show, but you know, I always thought it was a really great uh, fun sci-fi show uh, mm-hmm. to be placed amongst a lot of other great sci-fi shows through history, but it feels to me, and, you know, this is an, ob- uh, an objective thing. The season three has made the show into the best sci-fi ever made. Oh, wow. I wow. Mean, it, it, the show just feels so much more important. I mean, and, and the social yeah. commentary hasn't changed at all in any from any of the other seasons. It's just the way that it's 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 given more gravitas where there's still lots yeah. of humor in the show. But the the serious sci-fi and that's going on makes it so people 
kind of forgot the the, the hilarious joke that just happened because they're so concentrated yeah. on, the, on the serious stuff, which is what I prefer. That's a that's a good point. And wow, I mean, look, it, the fact that we were even welcomed in the sci-fi space, and I've told you this before, you know, mm-hmm. this is my first sort of foray into sci-fi. Um, but I will say being on the show, I totally get it now. And I totally see why people love the sci-fi genre and the future genre. And, you know, what does that look like? And what does a hopeful future yeah. look like? And what are we, like, what are we fighting about now? Like, yeah, it seems so insignificant, the stuff that we fight about now. And that, that kind of comes up a little bit uh, every once in a while in the Orville, like uh, the time where there was uh, something uh, serious going on about the past and they were mm-hmm. talking about how they were so worried about themselves and they were selfish and they left us a huge mess to clean up or yeah. uh, the, yeah. you know, the environment was about to be, de- be destroyed and they're worried about teeth whitening, you know, stuff like yeah, that. Exactly. Like, and, what do we, yeah. Yeah. It gives us something to strive for. I think humanity, yeah, which, it gives us a target. Which I also think we need as a collective, because otherwise, of course, we're going to continue to fight over picking ism, you know, yeah. and just, it's stupid. So anyway, I, I appreciate that sort of concept. And, you know, if our show is, is sort of touching people in the right way and, and, and giving people, a, you know, something hopeful to look forward to and, and really dig the show, I, I've said this many a time. I'm just honored to be a part of it, you know. It, it's, uh, I mean, anyone should be honored to be in, in, in this, a part of the show. I, I, I truly believe that. It's an honor just to be a fan of the show and to be able to talk to you guys. One thing... Uh, that I ask everybody, you know, you guys worked for so long to get this show yeah. out, to get this season out. What's it like for you to finally have people see what you have been working on all this time? For, well, first, it's, it's, it's awesome, right? But it's also, you know, it's a little scary because a lot of time could go by and you never know. It's either good time where, wow, we really miss you. And a lot of loyal fans were really amazing. But then also it, it could have been, yeah, y'all took too long. We don't care anymore. Yeah, um, some people were acting like that's the way they were going to be. But as I, I knew as soon as it started airing, they were going to all swoop right back in and it was completely yeah. right. And there's so many new fans now that are still, even today while we talk, are just discovering uh, episode one, season one. And, yeah. and they're getting caught up and, and I'm excited that they get to go through that whole journey for the first time. But I see it every day. And, you, and you know, I got I to gotta give Seth some props here too because – Look, as an actor, you want the things you work on to be celebrated, right? Immediately. Like we, we put a lot of time into that, right? So then to finish shooting and then, you know, well, before we finish shooting, then there's COVID. That shuts down everything. And then you come back after a year and then you shoot some more. And then it's another eight, nine, ten. After a while, you're just like, I want people to see it. Yeah. But Seth had the foresight to say, look, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be right. And I'm actually happened. I'm, 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 I'm happy that even though it was unfortunate that we got pushed back, I'm glad it happened. I'm glad our show came out when it happened or when mm-hmm. it came out because a, with it being weekly, you know, I think we just got so used to consuming everything just right now, right now. Right. And I think there's something about taking your time with something. So I just, it just sort of all worked out. So, um, I'm just glad people didn't leave us or if they did, they came back, you know? Well, a lot of them thought they were going to leave. They're like, hmm, hmm, I don't want to wait. This is America. Why do I have to wait? And I was like, <laughs> right, give it to me now. It, when it comes out, you're not even going to think about any of that stuff again. And uh, well, yeah, yeah. And I don't know how, I, I know you keep track a little bit of, of what's going on online with the fandom and stuff, but I mean, I, I'm looking at it all day, every day, and I have okay. never seen so much praise. Uh, uh, for this series, but also so often, it's just so much of it. People saying it's wow. the best show they've ever seen, not just the best sci-fi show, but the best show. Wow. And uh, people are wanting more and more. I, I kind of coined the phrase uh, Fourville. So <laughs> uh, if, if we get that okay. season four, right now we're on Threeville, but we're all hoping for Fourville. Fourville, okay. Yeah. Well, um, you got you got a platform and listen, man, if if people keep tweeting and talk about it, you know, Hulu pays attention to that stuff. Seth is paying attention. Disney is paying attention. So all that stuff definitely helps. That's the main thing. I tell people, I go, the main thing to do is to watch 
to share and to talk about it. Uh, yeah. Because, I mean, we're almost in the future. Robots are controlling everything and keeping track of everything. They want the numbers. And and I really feel the numbers are there. Um, yeah. yeah. You know, we don't have uh, full on exact transparency yet, but I mean, we'll know as soon as, as soon as we get that announcement, which, oh, I have so much faith in the Orville to, to get renewed and get you guys <laughs> back in the studio, back working, back flying around space, giving us stuff yeah. to think about. And uh, From your lips to the Orville set. Yeah, there you go. And then, uh, and, and you guys got a great promotion coming up with uh, Comic Con. Anything you're able to tell us about that yet, or is it all surprise? It's a little bit of a surprise. I'm not quite sure what we're going to show. I think they might show some, some sort of cool stuff. They haven't really told me. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm excited to go. You know me. I love, I appreciate all of it, every aspect. Because as a filmmaker, as an artist, as, as just someone who's blessed enough to work in this sort of capacity, you don't have the show without the fans. You know, you don't have a show without the Comic-Cons and all the people's, you know, people sort of, think don't really matter. It's like, no, we need all of that to make this show. It's all a part of this one sort of symbiotic thing, which I think is a message for humanity. But I'm excited to go to Comic-Con, see some people, sign some stuff. I, <laughs> I wish I could be there with you, man. Um, one last question before we go, because yeah. um, when are we going to see a half Salan, half human baby? No, that's not it. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be, do you, you guys must realize at, at this point with season three, uh, uh, almost concluded here that the rest of your life is going to be going to comic cons and conventions. Listen, my mom used to always say, focus on your mission. Position. So whatever's in the cards, if, if that's it, I'll just, I'll just try to keep it right here. Just do the work. You know me, bro, do the work, do better. And that's it. Do, and, and get those tickets to all the comic cons. Maybe you could get a discount if you order early. <laughs> Probably so. Probably but so. But hey, thanks for stopping by, and uh, I'm sure we'll talk again. Lots of Orville to talk about, especially if we get that season four. Uh, you're going to be my first stop. Hey, JP, I appreciate it. Hey, bro, I'm going to hit you up to figure out if we got renewed, man. Yeah, you got the inside <laughs> tip, bro. Yeah. But all right, man, we'll talk to you later, and uh, we all do better when we all do better. Boom. Appreciate you, JP. Boom. We'll see you.